ISTQB Foundation Level Version 95. Which of the following statements is true? A. Testing cannot prove that software is incorrect. B. Testing can prove that software is either correct or incorrect. C. Testing cannot prove that software is correct. D. Testing can prove that software is correct. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is C according to ISTQB syllabus. This answer based on testing principle 1. Testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects. Even if testing finds no defects, it does not guarantee the absence of defects. Testing is more about risk reduction and providing information about the quality of the software rather than proving its absolutely correctness. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is invalid because we can show the presence of defect according to testing principle 1. It means that we can prove that software is incorrect and this statement is false. Answer B is invalid because testing cannot prove that software is either correct or incorrect. It can only provide evidence of the presence of defects. Answer D is invalid because testing cannot prove that software is correct. It can only provide evidence of correctness within the scope of the tests conducted. Explanation Finally, let's look at the section 1.3, testing principles in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the testing principle 1 is Testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects. Testing can show that defects are present in the test object, but cannot prove that there are no defects. Testing reduces the probability of defects remaining undiscovered in the test object. But even if no defects are found, testing cannot prove test object correctness. This is fully consistent with correct answer C. I am entirely sure you will be able to pass the ISTQB Foundation level exam if you thoroughly figure out all the videos on my YouTube channel for absolutely free. Don't stop, never give up.